Welcome everyone to a new segment on my channel called A Life in Film, Cinema Spotlight. This is where I take either an actor or a director and follow their career path down the line until their recent film. So I find the first film they acted in or directed, review it, and then I move on to the next one. Movies only though. I don't want you to get the idea that, oh, so-and-so did a TV show a pilot episode once. You didn't include that. No, I'm sticking with movies. Short movies and feature length films. Nothing much more to it than that. So with that said, let's dive into the first person I will dedicate my show to, Steven Spielberg. And the first film he directed, which was a short story called Amblin. This is Steven's first film that is a short story, as I said before, and basically the inception to his career. Amblin was soon to be later the name of Spielberg's company called Amblin Entertainment. Yeah, it's, it's that. You know you've seen it. This film was shockingly easy to find, short and very easy to get into. There is virtually no dialogue where neither of the two characters we meet have any speaking lines, nor do they have names. Amblin is merely a speculation to whom that is or what it could mean. I'd go as far as to say Amblin could have been the female, but that's not too sure to say, and I'm sure many would go with the guy. Nevertheless, this is a 26-minute short story that features these two characters finding each other, hitchhiking on the road, trying to make it to wherever they need to go. Getting rides do prove difficult until they find one another and make the best of it. Just to give you a preface here, in this series of reviews following one's career, I really want to give you the sensation that you can get into this if you so wish. So naturally, I won't be giving out spoilers and talk about what I felt and what I saw. With Amblin, I couldn't help but notice all the tendencies Spielberg put into this film. Having something always going on is a good thing to have when making a film, but Spielberg is not uh, doing this for a desperate attention. He always knows once the conflict is solved, like getting a ride, he moves on to the next thing, something smaller or maybe even bigger. And it's basically like with the guy, he's got this guitar case and there's kind of a small mystery as to what's inside. People are kind of taunting him, opening it, trying to, hey, why don't you play for us or something? And he doesn't want to. He looks very upset that they even want to try and open this thing. I did find their pursuit finding a ride somewhat unbelievable where one would catch a ride and the other one is rushing to catch up. As soon as this happens, though, the ride is gone. Now, of course, this is in California, so I don't know how true this could be because I've never hitchhiked before. But what I did love was the use of camera angles and energy put into keeping things interesting throughout. Spielberg always gives just enough activity between characters, atmosphere, camera angles, and tricks and music. I really never find myself disliking any of his tendencies and his talents are never wasted when he directs a film. Speaking retrospectively, of course. In terms of recommendation, I think this should be seen for any moviegoer or enthusiast to create films themselves. Some major, major flaws with this short story was the saturation level, if you even want to call it that. There were some moments the film was so bright that you could barely tell what was happening. When it wasn't all in sunlight, the use of silhouette was admirable. I really did enjoy this short story for the most part, and for that I liked it, and obviously I have no way of owning it, but I really think that it's worth checking out on YouTube because that's where I found it. Alas, this is where I leave it up to you guys. What did you think of Amblin if you have checked it out or have already done so? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, please like and share this. Spread the word. That would be fantastic. Please subscribe, and if you are feeling generous, hit the notification bell. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time. Thank you.